Hey guys, V here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to install a uh, case fan. So we're gonna put this one right in the rear to be an exhaust fan, and I'm gonna show you how to keep your wires as clean as possible, kind of where to plug them in. As I mentioned in other videos, every motherboard is different. So check your motherboard owner's manual. So here you can see system fan three, system fan one, and where's the other one it should be somewhere here regardless this one has i believe three and if you have many fans you're going to need a fan hub this case did come with a fan hub for these and there's an extra connection back there so i have four total hubs that i can use on the mother or on the motherboard with this uh fan hub in the rear all right so first thing you're going to want to do is figure out where you want your wires to run so Always keep in mind the front of the fan is the part that sucks the air in and the back of the fan will blow it out. So in this case it's going to be mounted exactly like this front of the fan facing the front of the case and if you're mounting it at the top then the front of the fan to be an exhaust fan would be facing down. So the front facing down. If you're facing it here and want it as an exhaust fan again front would face up. So figure out where you want your cables to go. Uh, figure out your fan headers on your motherboard. And then once you go ahead and figure that out, put your cables out of the way, mount your fan, take your screws. So just go ahead and thread them in. It will feel like it's cross threading. It's not, that's just how these uh, screws are. They're kind of like self tapping screws, so. Hold your fan on the other side and slowly just thread all four screws through it. Good. Now we're going to go deal with the cables. So here's the two cables. This fan in particular has RGBs. So this is the RGB uh, cable. It's a three pin, so it's an addressable RGB or on this motherboard, I believe it's called digital RGB. And then this is for the actual fan uh, power, speed, and all that good stuff. If yours only has three, it's perfectly fine. Usually the pins on the motherboard will have four. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you that right now. So, for example, there it is, system fan two. That's where this one should be plugged in, but I don't wanna run my cable down halfway. So I'm thinking about using that top one there. And that's why I put my cables closer towards the top. So as you can see, there's four, uh, four pins. If yours only has three, don't worry about it. On these uh, connectors, there is this little rail looking thing and it just slides directly on. So just follow the rail. If you follow the rail, you can't plug them in wrong, even if they're only three pin. So just follow that rail and uh, you see, let me try to show you this again. You see that little rail on the hub right, right about there. So there's that, follow that rail, put this rail on that one, just like that and it'll slide right on. I went ahead and turned on my flash and as you can see right there, it is indeed plugged in. And now we have a ton of wire to get rid of, which means what I'm gonna do is take, take it, fold it in half, and then stick it through that hole in the rear, and then we'll tie it down in the rear. And then this RGB one, figure out where you're gonna plug that. And in this case, it's gonna go all the way at the bottom in that one right there, the digital RGB. It's a three pin, like I said, three pin. And um, if you, if yours doesn't have uh, the LEDs, kind of like these fans here, it then you can skip this step. And as you can see, this one only has a three pin. So you see that rail? That's what I was talking about earlier. So um, go ahead and run this where you're gonna need it. So I always suggest running it out first and then maybe we'll run it in through there and plug it in right there. So there you can see the cables running out 
and then I grabbed them in the rear. Here's the one I folded in half right here and I tied it to the pretty much to the side of the chassis. And then here's that LED one, it goes all the way down and then it just kind of goes inside. And here's the piggyback of it, which means you can piggyback off of this one if you in install some more digital or addressable RGBs. Um, and that plugged in right there. So that's how you install a case fan with RGB or without. So with that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. This is V. Peace.